Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do my second Valentine's Day look. If you want to check out my first one, I'll link that one down below. And that's more anti-Valentine's Day, a little bit more fun, more of a ladies night type of look. Or you know, use the lip that you want <laughs> with it. But today I wanted to do one using the Lorac Pro 2 palette. Only mainly because I just kind of wanted to show it some more love. Um, I've been neglecting it a little bit and I just kind of want to do just like a nice romantic sultry type of look. And and, um, I use this kind of lighter lip, but you can definitely mix it up. It's still neutral enough that you can use a deep lip if you please. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. First, I'm going to start by priming my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot. Then I'm going to go in with the Loac Pro 2 palette with that nectar color and a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to just rub that, well not rub that, <laughs> brush that all over kind of my crease area, just very messily. And this is going to be my transition shade. Then with the flat shader brush, I'm going to go in with that color buff and just put that right underneath my crease as my highlight. Because I'm going to be using a lot of shimmer on my eyes, I want a very matte highlight so it's not too much shimmer. Then I'm going to go in with that light brown color and a blending brush. And I'm going to put this right into my crease. So this is going to be like that gradient transition from the color that I'm going to put on my lid, which is going to be a little bit darker, not too crazy dark, from the transition to my brow bone. So that's just going to help kind of diffuse it out a little bit and just make it transition seamlessly. Then I'm going to go in with that color Mocha. This is a shimmery shade and a flat shader brush and just kind of pack it on my lid. I'm not really going to go side to side as much as I'm going to tap it in there. And honestly, just work it up to the consistency that you want. And I even went in with some Max Fix Plus just to kind of make it a little bit more shimmery. But, you know, it's up to you. This color on its own is gorgeous. You can even use your finger if you want. And then I'm just going to go back in with that same crease brush. A little bit of light brown, not too much, and just kind of buff everything in so that you know it's a nice seamless transition then i'm going to go in with that color rose and just pack that right into the center of the lid and just going to add a little extra dimension just a little pop of shine just to add a little bit something to that one color and not make it so one dimensional and i'm just going to put that and honestly it even works just as well with even my finger if you want to do that usually just to pack on a nice uh, shine of color in the center of your lid with your finger works even better than a brush i was going back and forth seeing what's working but I really like using my finger and as usual just go back and forth with blending, adding more color, blending, adding more color. Then I'm going to take the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and use that for underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, take some additional color and then just take that on the center of my forehead just to kind of places where I'm going to want to highlight. And I like honestly, I was really liking it blending with my finger but I really kind of want to make that crisp line with that brush just for any mistakes as you can see I was pretty messy with it and normally when I do you know my eyes first I just go in with the concealer same thing works if you do it you know foundation first and then your eyeshadow then I'm gonna go in with those two kind of yellow and more white color from the NYX highlight and contour palette and just kind of pat that underneath my eyes to kind of highlight and I'm still kind of experimenting with this palette but I'll definitely give you guys a more in-depth review you know as I use it a little bit more to let you know my thoughts about it just kind of placing that anywhere I added the concealer to highlight around my face and just kind of emphasize those areas then I'm gonna set my face with the Maybelline dream wonder powder and just tap that foundation on top of my face then I'm gonna go in with that kind of bronzy color and I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up my face Then I'm going to go in with that third kind of more taupey color and just a more defined brush and just kind of take that all around my cheekbones and this is going to be more precise contouring. And then I'm just going to make sure just to blend everything up and out. Just because if you blend it down, it's kind of going to bring everything, you know, down <laughs> as opposed to kind of lifting the face. 
Then I'm gonna go in with Max Blush and Melba, and this is just a great everyday morning, afternoon, evening type blush, very neutral. I'm just gonna place that on my cheeks, and then for my highlight, I'm actually gonna use this eyeshadow by Milani. These are their new Bella Eyes eyeshadows, and it's a great highlight not only for your eyes but for your face. So I'm gonna be using that on top of my cheekbones, and these are awesome. I really like this as a drugstore highlight for about what four or five dollars. Then just to add a little something, I'm just going to take an outer V brush in that cocoa color and just add that to the outer V of my eye just to create a little bit of smokiness. But it's pretty subtle. It's not too crazy. So you can still add a crazy lip color. And I'm just going to make sure just to kind of tap that in there into my eye and then just go back in with that blending color and just blend everything out, you know, within the crease and just kind of blow everything out with that fluffy brush. Just wanted to show you guys, I used the Red Cherry number 15 lashes and the L'Oreal Liquid Eyeliner. And here I'm just going back in with that light brown color and a little bit of that nectar and just kind of going eat underneath my lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with a flat definer brush and that cocoa color just to define my lash line. Just add a little bit of definition down there and it kind of just brings the look together. And then just go right back in and blend everything out. And then I'm going to go in with the Max Coal Eyeliner, Coal Pencil in the color Smolder, and this is just a black, and just run that underneath my waterline just to add a little bit of more smokiness, a little bit more of a nighttime effect. Then I'm going to go in with Max Fix Plus just to add a little bit of luminosity and glow to my face, a makeup refresher. Then go in with the L'Oreal Setting Spray to actually set my makeup. <laughs> and then here I'm just going to go in with the NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner, and I'm just going to line my lips. Then I'm going to go in with the new NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the color Tres Leches. Oh my god, this color, these these things in general, this one is so pigmented, like I don't even need a lipstick under this, but it's this beautiful kind of nudie color, but it has color in there, very wearable. Check it out. So that's my tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll check it out. Maybe just another way to use your Lorac Pro 2 palette. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.